The markets have come right back up over the last three days of trading, back up above the candle that told us the bears were trying to take control. With the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow all trading back up above the T-line, the simple assumption is that investor sentiment has come back up to where the probabilities are now back to where we're in, a, in an uptrend, making this the prospects of seeing a J-hook pattern setting up. The Dow doing the same prospects, closing back up above the T-line, also making it look like a scoop pattern, which means if they continue, it should be a slingshot effect to the upside, uh, taking us into a new wave, just based upon what usually occurs in investor sentiment. The graphics of candlestick signals also provide the candlestick investor with clear indication of what the relative strength is of a stock. For example, Wednesday, it traded this uh, stock traded back a little bit, but it already broken out with a morning star signal off the uh, T line, looking for the next wave. The prospects were good that if you were heading in the right direction, we were buying the right in this area. We were buying the June 10 calls for 34 cents with the idea that this wave right here and this wave right here should be equivalent, taking you probably up into the $12 range. And as you can see right now, those 34 cent calls are now trading at approximately $1.50. We're still looking for possibly another 50 cents to a uh, 75 cents to the upside. When the market itself creates situations that look like uh, a pattern, we can identify those even more clearly on individual stocks. We recommended repurchasing LITE. Uh, we covered some calls last uh, on expiration day, I guess which was on Friday, with a good profit since we were buying down here and repurchasing June calls because Wave 1 and Wave 3 are using the same magnitude. That same scenario applied to our recommendation to buy LNTH on the J-hook pattern prospects today after seeing a morning star signal after the pullback right on the T-line. The probabilities of a positive open told us that they were confirming the morning star signal, 1, and 2, telling us the prospects for a J-hook pattern were all that much better. The benefit of using the visual analysis based upon candlestick signals and patterns is that the prices move in the same way time after time. In this case, with the, the uh, markets doing a pullback and heading back up, it has created a lot of uh, profitable opportunities of now the, the uh, J-hook pattern where Last month, it was the fry pan bottom breakout. And this is what we call the classic pattern. A fry pan bottom breakout creates a very strong price move. A pullback and the next move up creates the possibility of a J-hook pattern with the prerequisite being a very strong price move. The reason we call this the classic is because it's classic that you see a strong price move coming out of one pattern and going into the next pattern. That'll be it. We're making lots of money in this market. Uh, use the price patterns or the candlestick patterns as your uh, format. We'll see you in the chat rooms.